We're back with Kani Lau, Director, President, and CEO of Hawaiian Electric Industries. Terry mentions before that you are one of the uh, top 25 most powerful women in business. Do you think about that, that I'm a woman in business, or do you just think about being in business? Oh, I definitely just think about being in business. Um, I think once I uh, got into key positions, and certainly once I got into being at the top, I then started thinking about being a woman in business, mostly because all of a sudden I realized that I was, uh, you know, a lot of people looked to me as a role model. And so then I had to start focusing more on, um, you know, being a woman, uh, where, whereas I really didn't think about that as I was working my way to the top. Um, and so since that time, I've tried to think about why it might be difficult for women to get to the top and how can I help younger women um, uh, surmount those obstacles so that they can get to the top uh, and the kinds of things that uh, they you know, may or may not want to do in order to get to the top. Uh, you know, for example, one of the things that um, <clears throat> I always uh, think about when I'm um, working with women or actually even uh, uh, guys is, uh, you know, family life nowadays is so much more important for everybody, but it's always been more important for women. Uh, and you have to make choices uh, between sometimes you know family obligations and business obligations you know remember in the old-fashioned world where the guy worked and the woman stayed home and took care of the house and took care of the kids um, the guys could really just focus on work and if your boss asked you to stay late you just stayed late because that was what the job asked you to do but if you were a woman you know at the same time, you would be thinking, oh, I've got to get home, you know, I've got kids who are coming home from school, I've got to take care of the kids, and I've got to make sure that we've got uh, food in the refrigerator, and the house is clean, and, you know, on and on and on. Uh, and, um, you know, maybe even you'd have elderly parents that usually those burdens in the old days fell just on the wife. Um, and so, you know, I'd see a lot of young women that would be uh, working, you know, on their careers, but yet they would have all of these other obligations that they had to think about, which the guys, you know, didn't think about before. Now today, everybody wants much more balance in life. And so everybody kind of thinks about it. Um, but what I've always said in terms of promoting people is, you know, you ought to give them the opportunity and then let them choose whether that fits in their life at that particular point in time. Um, you know, a lot of times women can't take an opportunity because, uh, you know, they, they may have just had a young child and they really feel that they need to spend more time with that, that uh, child when they're young. Um, in the old days, they might write you off and say, you know, you're not dedicated to the job or committed to the job, and so, you know, you would just go off the list for promotion. Um, and I just don't believe in doing that to people because, you know, at the right time, it's not that uh, that person isn't a great worker or, um, you know, isn't entitled to a great career. It's just that it may not fit at that point in her life or now his life too. How were you able to balance your lifestyle being that you have children, you were climbing up the corporate ladder and you know now the pressures of being a role model? <laughs> well, <laughs> you just sort of do it. It's just like childbirth. They always say you don't, you know, you forget about how difficult it was in the actual delivery of the kid. Um, but I was really lucky because I always had um, a great husband who, uh, you know, wasn't like the, the old traditional males. Uh, he always uh, helped me out and we always shared everything uh, equally and it's really been a, a great partnership. We've always thought of ourselves as interchangeable. Uh, you know, he doesn't have any problem with uh, cooking. I don't have any problem with taking the garbage out. You know, we both do the laundry. And, uh, you know, so we, we uh, both have really uh, just worked um, very closely together to support each other in our careers and then also to build the family. And then when it comes to having kids, you know, we both said that once we decided to have kids, they really had to come first. 
um, because that's our responsibility having brought them into this world. Um, you know, the, the, in, in that sense, the job can always wait. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more on Greater Good Radio.